I've got the Streamline Your Life workshop floating around out there, and it starts on the 8th of February. And um, I've had a lot of questions about people not really sure how to make the decision about whether or not to jump in. And I just wanted to give you some kind of criteria about how to make some decisions. And these decisions about what to invest in, in terms of if a program is good for you, or if a book or a movie recommendation is good for you, if a certain purchase decision is good for you, like it's all the same thing. And so I thought I would just use it to demonstrate both. So value is actually perceived um, worth of an item, activity, um, payment, <laughs> investment. It is what you think it's going to do for you. The return on investment would be what you're going to, the benefit, the result you'll get from spending money on this thing or time or energy on this particular thing. Um, and so that's part of it. And then the, um, the discernment piece is how do you make a wise decision about that? How do you judge something in terms of, is this the right choice for me? And there's so many factors that it's really complicated. But if you think about it in terms of how do you make decisions? When was the last time you thought about how you make decisions? What are you hoping to get out of it? What, um, what is appealing about it to you? What would it make possible for you if you were to make the decision to go with this thing or that thing? You know, what what causes you to buy the Dawn power spray versus regular Dawn dishwashing liquid, right? What makes you even buy Dawn dishwashing liquid in the first place? What What is going through your brain as you make decisions? Because clutter is always unmade decisions. It's what we set down for later to not think about it right now or not solve the problem right now. So thinking about what a good value to you is might be some things that help you get other things done or help you prioritize what you'd like to be working on or help you have more confidence that you are connecting with the right people. Um, so there's a lot that goes into it and yet it's so simple. What, what is it you want? <laughs> What is going to help you get the result you want? And is it worth paying more for something that will actually get you the result? Or is it worth cheaping out and getting you something, getting something just for now or the make do um, to get closer to what you want? I can't tell you how to answer that. It is, I know how I make decisions and it's usually what is going to be the easiest, fastest um, most efficient way to get there. And that's sometimes paying a little bit extra money for the speed of it, for the knowledge that the people I'm purchasing from have um, repeatable results. It's not just new or it's not just surface level stuff, but they have the chops to actually help me navigate where I'm trying to go. And so anytime I have invested in a program and I have invested in over a hundred thousand dollars worth of programs in the last 20 years, I've made more than that back. So I'm, I'm doing pretty well on my batting average. That is not to say some of them were not to the same caliber. And that's usually when I've cheaped out or went with something instead of the thing I really wanted because I thought I couldn't afford it. So I just want to throw that out there. Where, how do you figure out what the, what the results might be for you? And it would be, is there a track record of helping other people do the thing I'm trying to learn to do? Is there um, some guaranteed savings on the other end? On average, my clients save $400 a month on food and incidentals when we figure out what they actually have and what how it matches up with um, what they're spending their money on. That's the duplicates, the things just in case, the things that um, you are afraid to run out of um, that you can't remember if you have any more of. So just setting up some systems and things can save you up to 
I would say more than $400 a month, but it's on average um, for the people that have actually been willing to share their details with me. It's been $400 a month and that's forever. That's just not once and done. That is ongoing savings month after month. So what would it be worth to have a framework that would save you $400 a month in just one area of your life? And what if that same framework could be scattered around the different areas of your life that might help you save money in other areas as well, right? That's where you can start figuring out um, if it's worth investing in, right? Um, there's also the piece about how much wheel spinning are you willing to do? How much time and energy have you wasted on the wrong solutions or doing things over and over instead of doing it the right way? And there's no one right way. There's a bunch of different ways that all of these solutions can happen. And in the Streamline Your Life program, we do talk a lot about how to make it customized to you and the way you think um, and how to adapt. We think about how to think about getting organized. And so you can put your own spin on it as we go. Um, all right, I'm just checking my notes over here on the, the iPad. Um, and how much, so will you actually use the knowledge you're getting from a particular program? Or is it just jumping in fear of missing out? Is it um, you're not in the right place to start right now? Um, or is it you're just avoiding actually starting by not investing in it? So this is where value and discernment, is it going to help you feel expansive and jump into the thing that's really going to help. Um, yeah. So hopefully that gets you thinking a little bit. How long have you been struggling with this pro problem? How much is it costing you to not solve it? Is it more than $400 a month? Maybe. <laughs> Probably. Um, what missed opportunities have you had by not um, jumping in? on a program in the in the past. So one of the things, all right, there's been a lot of one of the things. So let's just say there was a whole bunch of things that went into putting the Streamline Your Life workshop together. Uh, it includes training and um, actual opportunity to ask questions and get your questions answered in real time, just like if we were working together one-on-one. -on -one. Um, you get to learn from the other people in the group as they experience the same things. That's valuable too. A lot of people um, enjoy uh, the camaraderie of going through it together. The messy middle can be such a slog, but when you have some other people doing it together, it doesn't feel so bad. Um, there is opportunity for um, re-watching and replaying the training sessions and the Q&A sessions as many times as you need for the information to sink in. It never fails. You hear something said a different way, slightly differently a week from now, and you hear a whole different way of um, uh, a different perspective that allows you to click into place for you so that you get the better result. There's also all the supporting basics and essentials, the how to best practices of all the steps of how to get organized, how to declutter, how to design systems and what those systems are. And there's the actual frameworks for five different essential household systems that allow you to think about the organizing in a little bit different way. How does it work together? When you affect this system over here, how does it affect that system over there? And how do you make them work together? Those connective pieces are what's missing from a lot of other programs where they just say, this is what you do in your bathroom and this is what you do in your kitchen and this is what you do in your laundry room. They don't tell you how it all works together. That's one of the strengths of the Streamline Your Life program. It's connected. Um, we throw in some money mindset on top of it. So you continue to make better money decisions and um, figure out where the best uh, points of spending your time and money and energy on things are across the board to live your best life, do your best work. It's all connected. Okay, so we do that. 
there are ah, the super duper bonus this time through. I'm going to be doing my own spaces at the same time. And I am so excited to do this because I've been putting it off for like two and a half years, a lot of my usual constant ongoing editing so that I would have some more closely to what you're experiencing experiences in my own house so that as I go through and record myself going through the things, I'm going to encounter a lot of the things I encounter when I'm with a client and I can talk you through how I made the decision I made when I come to those things. So hopefully that's a big support. Plus you can laugh at the stuff in my drawers. You know, it's fun that way. Um, we'll think about it as um, a little bit of archeology span on our own houses, that self-discovery and um, self-help and self-care all in one. And it should be fun. But I'm hoping I only have to do that once and then I'd have that content available for sharing with my clients and, and the people in my programs. And it's specifically going to happen week after week after week as we go through the trainings together. Okay. So it'll be happening in real time, which is really fun. And I'm hoping it helps people get a more um, uh, timely result. Sometimes my clients do the workshop and they go all the way through it and then they start, which doesn't lead to the best questions in between. So this time we're going to be doing it together real time, a few hours a week. It'll get it done. Okay. So all those things are connect are um, included in my program. Um, what else is in there? We throw in simplicity tips and how to make those work for you. We do the money mindset. I think I talked about already. You learn how to make better decisions and forever you will have access to the materials. So anytime you need to do a constant and continuous ongoing editing process of your stuff, you can refer back and remember the process. If things change for you, if you move, if you become an empty nester, if you retire, if you start a business, you can review it and start over to adapt the systems we create for your new situation. So all of that will always be available. And you will be on the list that gets you the earliest notification for all of my programs so you can get the highest savings on anything upcoming. And often, I use people who have been through my programs as part of the beta testing of new programs. And so you get to be um, included in that. You get to um, have that early access and lifetime access for anything new that comes up. There may be some cool things coming this year, but this is the place to start. Streamline your life program. Um, you can get all the details about what is exactly is included and in it and the timing and all that more than organized.net slash streamline your life. No spaces, no dashes, just all run together. Um, and if you have any questions, reach out to me via the socials or email me at Miriam at more than organized.net. And I will help you navigate whether this is a good fit for you. Um, don't forget to tell all your friends because it's really fun when we do it all together. There's still a few spots left. So go ahead and tell your friends. Let's do it together. Um, and don't forget to like, follow, share, and um, comment. And uh, in the meantime, I'll see you next week and have a delightful day.